Hello there and welcome back to the channel. This is Mel's Gaming here with another The Hunter Call of the Wild video. Now in this video I'm going to be showing off some insane zone locations that you need to be checking out, whether it is in multiplayer or single player. Now first off I'm going to show the Fever Tree Forest location that is absolutely insane for Gemsbok. Now this lake here both the lake itself for drink zones and their surrounding area is absolutely crazy for Gemsbok. We're talking between 50 and 100 Gemsbok in nearly every server, with normally at least one level 5 male or a level 4, at least a level 4 decent female, sometimes a rare. There's normally at least something decent at this lake. It is just incredible. And here you can see as a level 5 male, which is sadly a troll, but still a really nice level 5 dark variant for the Gemsbok, and a really Really big female and that is just two of the just sheer number of Gemsbok that are there. It is absolutely insane. Now something that I want to say right now at the start of this video is that servers will vary almost almost every server that I've gone in has this Gemsbok zone but servers do vary from server to server so if you go to a server and it's not quite as hot at one of these spots try another one that would be my recommendation and something that is incredibly important to note is that lakes and rivers and just any water source are where to find diamonds. If you want diamonds or you want rares, you want to be at lakes and any water source really. Just hunt water. Don't hunt the animals, hunt the water. If you find water anywhere, you're guaranteed to find animals there that are drinking or feeding or resting or something. Almost all zones revolve around lakes and rivers and everything to do with water. And as you can see, just the sheer number of Gemsbok here on a different server, if you are here and you're trying to grind for money, for XP, this is an insane spot because you can just sit and shoot a couple, wait for them to come back, sit and shoot a couple, wait for them to come back. And that is one of the ways that I grinded on the PC account to actually get up to level 60. And then around the lake, as you can see here, this is a feed zone for the Gemsbok, and you can see just the sheer number of tracks it is just insane. Now, the second location that I am talking about in this video is the Warthog location. Now, if you have watched my previous video, you'll have seen here that in one session I managed to get both a rare and a diamond Warthog from this one spot in this one zone. So it is an absolutely incredible spot for Warthog. I must have seen probably between 20 and 50 Warthog just around this one location. It is absolutely insane just how many of them that are in this area. You will also find Cape Buffalo and I almost always found at least one wildebeest just chilling around here as well but for warthog it is just the place to be it is absolutely incredible and I barely had to check any servers before I actually got a diamond and a rare and as I said they were in the same location they were there together like they were only a few meters apart now this location is also in the fever tree forest just across to the left from where the Gemsbok zone is and it is just incredible and you can see here the time for the feed zone that I was actually hunting it is incredible and if you are looking for any kind of warthog whether it's a diamond or a rare just come here I would recommend in multiplayer and you're probably going to find one at least at least something decent w at some point because like I said I checked maybe a couple of servers and then I found one that had a diamond and a rare in it so it's really 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 awesome.
Now this next zone I'm talking about is really good for both Warthog and Cape Buffalo and it is pretty notable as a hotspot for both of them during their feed times and you can get pretty insane numbers of both. I went here on my map and ended up being charged by several Cape Buffalo at once, probably the most I've ever been charged by in one go and when I come up here you're going to see the sheer insane number of tracks. I didn't actually see anything decent but I thought I would just show off the amount of tracks and also a nice group of fleeing warthog but if you can get up here and actually have some animals up here when you're actually up here looking for them then it is just insane and you can see many 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 animals as you'll see from the tracks i ended up just spooking them out of this zone before i actually managed to get a decent look at them but you'll see just the fact that there is so many warthog tracks so many cape buffalo tracks and all you have to do is come up here and you can check all the tracks for whether it's a rare for whether it's you know diamond potential because that's something else I want to note in this video is there is a current I don't know whether you'd call it a bug or a glitch but basically at the moment if you click on any track it can just be a walking track or basically any track if you click on it and then go to your map if you look on the right hand side you'll have the information about the animal including its fur type and you don't have to have the disturbed vegetation perk for this. So you could come to a zone like this that has an insane amount of tracks, go through each track clicking on it to see if there is a, a rare there. So that is something that I found really useful and it is something I have been doing and thus far I haven't actually found any rares by doing this but you can see that if you do do this there is a high chance that you might pick up a rare track if you go to this spot. There is just so much, so many tracks, and I do need to actually hunt this zone on my own map more because I have so many Cape Buffalo in this zone, it is insane. And I will actually include a clip of me getting charged by those Cape Buffalo. Now this next zone is on Te Aurora rather than Vrahonga Savannah but it is just as amazing of a location. This is a little inlet with two lakes at it on the, the top right hand side of the map I do show the location as well so you can see very clearly where it is and this spot is insane for fallow deer. If you are looking for a rare or a diamond fallow deer this is the place to be. I have shot maybe six diamond fallow here now including the max weight one that i shot with the handgun i have once shot two albino does here in one go i've shot two piebald bucks from here i've just shot so many good fallow deer here it's insane almost every multiplayer i come and check this spot there is something good and as i will show me a couple of times running around this lake you'll see that sometimes there may only be a few if it's a fairly new server but sometimes there can be a huge amount. I know on my own personal server that I had a group of upwards of 50 fallow deer all in one spot on this lake. It was absolutely insane. So if you are looking for any kind of fallow deer, this is the spot to be. Te Awara is the fallow deer, just absolutely the best map. Like if you want fallow deer, don't even bother with Hirschfelden to be honest. I spent so long grinding Hirschfelden to try and get a rare fallow deer and never got anything and then did a couple of multiplayer hops on Tay Aurora and found a piebald buck and then like I said the, the albino does and it's yeah it's just amazing. I have had an albino buck off of this map but at a different lake as well 
pretty much all, well, a lot of the lakes are really good for fallow deer, but this is the fallow deer lake. If you want fallow deer, come here. And if you come here in the early hours of the morning, I tend to say about 5am, this is also a really good spot for feral pigs. They, I'm not, uh, I can't remember their drink zone off the top of my head, but sort of very early morning for feral pigs is really quite good here as well. Not quite as good as the fallow deer, so this is why I'm talking about the fallow deer specifically, because it is just insane for fallow deer. And finally, this is one of my favourite locations. These two little lakes up here on Te Awara are amazing locations for chamois. Now, me and a friend came up to my chamois lakes, which is these two lakes, on my server the other day, and we just memed so many chamois. We were running around with 300 and the 303, and just memeing as many as possible to try and get maybe a rare to respawn or a diamond to respawn, and it's just incredible. Like this, if you want to hunt chamois, go to these two lakes at their drink time, and you will find them here. 
like I it, their drink time I think is five to nine if I remember correctly I do show it on the map there but it is just absolutely incredible for them and if yeah if you want chamois this is the place to be and if you want an easy way to grind money and XP come and grind these guys because like I said with the Gemsbok just shoot a couple and then wait for them to come back shoot a few more wait for them to come back or if you want because the Shamwa are quite slow you can do what me and my friend did which is just chase them and if you shoot them with a higher caliber weapon because you're not too bothered about the score like I we did with the 300 I got so many levels and it was a really good way to level up the dog as well like you'll lose a bit of the cash by shooting them with an incorrect weapon but I, I was going with the 300, shooting them, then sending the dog to track them, shooting them, sending the dog to track them. I leveled up the dog several times and it was so good for XP and money. It was absolutely fantastic. So if you want another great location, it's this location here. And the other little lake as well is also brilliant. But you'll see just the sheer number of tracks and everything. It's just insane. So th these are my favourite spots to check on any multiplayer in terms of looking for diamonds and rares because of just the sheer number of animals that are here at these various different zones. And as I said, it can vary from map to map. So don't be surprised if you go to one and maybe there isn't as many animals at one of these locations. It can happen. But almost all maps I've been on have these locations just as hectically full of animals so I would recommend any of these spots for anyone looking for their first diamond or their first rare but as I said at the start of the, the video the tip to find diamonds and rares is hunt water don't just stick to these locations that I've said here just hunt water if there's water if you can see a lake go to it that is where you will find animals because as I said all zones pretty much tend to revolve around water whether it's resting zones feeding zones or drinking zones so you'll be really really well set if you start hunting around water and that is pretty much where I get all of my diamonds around water is pretty much all of my diamonds so that's my biggest tip but these are my favorite locations and I thought it would be nice to highlight them just in case anyone was wondering well oh, where should I go to you know find a lot of animals whether it's in multiplayer or single player so these are my tips and if anyone else has any other good location recommendations do make sure to drop them in the comments down below I would be interested to hear about them but these are the main ones that I've found and I know a lot of other people have seen that work really well as well so yeah I would be really interested to hear what you guys think and thank you very much for watching.